thanks for joining me again for another Pixie Talks review vlog. Pixie Talks, Pixie Talks, reviews and vlogs at Pixie Talks. Pixie Talks, Pixie Talks, reviews and vlogs at Pixie Talks. Woo! This week is another anime week! I recently have been watching a lot of Crunchyroll, and it should come as absolutely no surprise that I am a sucker for adorable slice of life flicks. And I've been seeing a lot of love for this particular show online, so I thought that I would check it out. This week is Himoto Umaru-chan! with bizarre premises, which is largely what I love about it. No medium is better at taking a goofy premise and running with it, for better or for worse. And adorable? It is hard to top slice of life anime flicks for over the top sugary cutesiness. That said, sometimes it gets a bit weird and surreal. Himoto Humaru-chan is about a young girl who is the best at absolutely everything she does. She's gorgeous, she's smart, she's witty, she's kind. There's nothing she does that she does not excel at, from academics to sports to arts. But she is hiding a secret. Once home, she transforms into a himono, a girl who acts proper and normal in public, but in the home is lazy and slobbish. She lives with her older brother, who is forced to cater to her selfish and lazy ways, a completely different persona than she shows to the outside world. I really have to ask about the entire concept of a himono is you need a word for this? This isn't just normal? Doesn't everyone shed their uncomfortable day-to-day -day clothes and then relax in their comfy jammies the moment they get home for the day? I'm not really sure if there is a cultural gap here or something, but from my experience, this is not particularly abnormal behavior. So she likes to relax in front of the TV in a comfy onesie when she gets home. <laughs> That's weird. I mean, yeah, the fact that she is super lazy and selfish and forces her brother to do all the chores for her is a bit problematic. But the source of the embarrassment of being the dreaded himono here seems to come from the fact that she's not prim and proper once she gets home and she likes to eat junk food. Now, aside from my confusion on why exactly her behavior is considered so very strange, there is an awful lot of depth to this series. One could probably presume that she feels extreme amounts of pressure from her day-to-day -day life due to the expectation to always be so perfect. So, once home, she reverts back to a more childish state in order to cope with the stress. Which is really intriguing as a concept, and I kind of wish that they had explored the psychology a little bit more. I feel like I relate with her a lot because she's a homebody who would rather stay in and nap all day on the weekends than go out and socialize, which is totally cool in my books. The show is also absolutely adorable. She's the cutest darn thing, and I just want to hug her and squeeze her and have a movie marathon with her. Oh my gosh. She'd be the coolest person to chill with, as long as you aren't the one she's bossing around. If you can relate to loving pillow forts and comic books, and really, who can't, you'll get a kick out of her. My biggest complaint with the series is how big of a pushover her big brother is. He never stands up for himself, never puts his foot down and makes her get her act together. And it's just so frustrating watching her walk all over him when he really should be wielding a bit more authority with her. Of course, this is mostly just played for laughs, but unfortunately for me, their dynamic doesn't really come off as humorous so much as just kind of sad because he ends up bending over backwards for her and doing so much for her with little to no payback. Now, the show's art style is absolutely wonderful, and you can't deny the charm that it has. All of the characters spring off the screen with a lifelike energy, especially Umaru herself. It's wonderful watching their lives unfold in this upbeat and colorful world. It's clearly got a lot of talent poured into it, and I adored its aesthetic of childlike wonder and enthusiasm. Of course, there is no conclusion to the show whatsoever by the end, but I've come to expect that from anime, annoying as it is. If you are into cute slice of life with a kind of wholesome charm and an innocent appeal, this should be right up your alley. Umaru-chan will just snuggle her little way right into your heart. And that's it for my review of Himo. 
Yamamoto Umaru-chan. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do be sure to subscribe for more. You can add me on Facebook for more updates, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!